It's still a beautiful day and um, we are still doing pie charts, yeah? First we look at a pie chart to interpret it, yeah? And then we calculate it amount by looking at a pie chart, so how many people actually like a particular color. And this last video is about creating our own pie chart, uh, uh, calculating the angle. Okay, so I just made up this example of Let's say I've asked people, what is your favorite sport? Okay, and 25 people say hockey, 60 people say football, five say curling, yeah, I'm sure some of you like curling. You know, that's with, on, on the ice, you throw these, uh, these discs. Yeah, we, from Holland, we don't understand that, but uh, we really understand skating, speed skating, yeah, so 10 people like that. So how many people in total did I ask for their favorite sports? Yeah, so the total frequency would be the addition of those frequencies, so, 85, 90, so I've asked 100 people in total. And the question now is represent this information in a pie chart, okay? So you would start with drawing a circle with your compass, okay? So draw a circle with your compass, and also from the center of your circle, a line up to the north. It's very useful to start like that, okay? So you have that line, I already prepared that, okay? But how do I calculate the amount of degrees yeah, for these uh, individual sports? How many degrees do they get on the pie chart? Well, in total, there are how many degrees? 360 degrees. Yeah? So I have 360 degrees to divide. Okay. Now, but how much does hockey get? Well, hockey, if I do that on this side, yeah, which part of the people like hockey? Which part of the people like hockey? Well, 25 out of 100 people like hockey, okay? And I will times that by 360 degrees because 25 out of 100 is a quarter, so a quarter of the people like hockey, and therefore it gets a quarter of 360 degrees. And that is a quarter of 360 degrees 90 degrees, okay? So with my pie chart, and that's why I have that one line there already, yeah, because I'm gonna put my protractor on it, and I'm gonna measure 90 degrees, and of course that is a perpendicular angle, isn't it? 90 degrees, and you should do this with a, a sharp pencil, eh? So this is not fantastic, but it's the best I can do, because if I do that with a sharp pencil, then you guys won't be able to see it. Oh, okay, so anyway, a quarter. That, I'll just put a big uh, H in it for hockey, yeah? So easily, you can see now, a quarter of the people like hockey. What about football? Well, which part will they get on the pie chart? Well, that depends on which part of the people like football. Well, which part? That is 60 out of 100, yeah? So I need to know the total amount of people I've asked. 60 like football out of 100. So he's gonna get also that part of the pie chart, and the pie chart, consists out of 360 degrees. And if you do that in your calculator, so 60 over 100, that is six out of 10, 0 0.6 times 360, it's gonna say 216 degrees. So clearly football, by the way, is the most popular sport, so it will get the biggest chunk of the pie chart, 216. Okay, where should I continue? Let me, let me continue from here. So 216, the angle 216, an obtuse angle. Oh dear, it's not gonna fit on my paper. So I'll just cheat a little bit like this. 200, did I say 216? Yeah, 216, sorry guys. Um, so uh, what am I doing? Yeah, because 216 of course is 180 plus a little bit more. So I'm gonna turn it around an angle, the reflex angle, did I say obtuse? I mean reflex, eh? The reflex angle 216 degrees is 180 plus 36. So I'm gonna measure 36 and I go in that direction. Guys, it's been a long day for me as well. I've been teaching all day. I do this for you now. So I said obtuse angle, well that's a reflex angle, eh? Anyway, this is 216 degrees and those are the people who like Football, so I put a big F in it, okay? I only have a small chunk left and I have to divide that over curling and skating. Now how much will they each get? That F is upside down like this, John, yeah? So I'm going to do it like this as well, yeah? That's football, okay. So curling, 
Five people like that. Let me continue before I make more silly, silly mistakes. Five out of 100 people, yeah? Times that by 360 degrees, and then you're gonna get 18 degrees. And for skating, I'm gonna do that now already as well. 10 people like that, twice as much. So yeah, indeed, it's gonna get twice 18 degrees, 36 degrees, yeah? Five, uh, 10 out of 100, that's twice as much. So the angle is gonna be twice the size, yeah? So 18 degrees, now with this marker, it's almost impossible, but okay, I'll do the best I can. 18 degrees, and that is roughly uh, there. So, draw the angle, 18 degrees. We all know how to use a protractor, right? That's there, so that was curling. So I'll put a C there, and then an S for speed skating. Okay, so. I take this away, and if I would just have the pie chart left, yeah, you could easily, if you would know what those letters mean, you could easily say football is the most popular sport, yeah, a quarter of the people like hockey and curling, and that makes sense, right? It's the least popular sport. I mean, come on, who likes curling? All right, I'm making a pie chart, okay? Uh, I hope that was useful. Like and share this video if it was, okay? Find me on my site and ask me a question, explainingmaths.com. Find me on Facebook and Twitter. You can ask me questions there too. I'll see you later. I wish you a pleasant evening. Bye-bye.